folder redirection using group policy. Group policy allows an administrator to configure some common user folders to be redirected to be stored on a network share rather than on the local machine. Now there's five folders that can be redirected using group policy. Firstly, the application data folder, which contains application specific settings and configuration information. We can also store the desktop on a network share, the My Documents and My Pictures folders, and the Windows Start menu. So why would we even bother with storing this anywhere but on the local machine? Well, users like to do what's easiest. Most applications by default will use the My Documents folder to store their saved files. Now even though in most organizations and administrators already gone up and set up a home folder for users to save their documents in, users still often go with the easiest solution and that's to use the default folder or the My Documents folder. Now the only real problem with this is that most local users workstations are not backed up. So if their machine happens to go bang in the night, then everything they've been working on is lost. So redirecting these folders to a network file share, it's a smart idea because then it can be backed up as part of your normal backup cycle. So to configure folder redirection, we'll click on Start, Administrative Tools, and we'll open up Active Directory Users and Computers. And then we'll right click on an OU, we'll select Properties, and then we'll select the Group Policy tab. Now we'll select the New button to create a new GPO, and we'll give this uh, a name and then we'll click on edit to bring up the group policy object editor. Now under our user configuration heading we'll expand windows settings and then we'll expand folder redirection. So we have four options here application data, desktop, my documents and the start menu. So what we'll do is we'll right click on my documents and we'll select properties. Now the first thing we need to do is configure the target. Now the default is not configured but we can select from basic which redirects everyone's documents to the same folder, or we can choose the advanced option, which lets us redirect my documents based on group membership. So for example, if you are a member of the marketing group. Now we'll choose the basic option, and now down here we have to specify a target folder location. The default is to create a folder for each user under the root path of the folder that we'll specify below. Now I prefer to use the redirect to a user's home directory option, as most users already have a home directory defined. But we can also redirect to a specific location, which means you might have a bit of work configuring this if you have a lot of users, but of course you can set up your users all over the place if you wish, or we could use the redirect to the local user profile location. Now I'll choose to redirect to the user's home directory, and then we'll come up here and click on the settings tab. Now here, the default is to grant the user administrative rights over their own folder. And that's okay because the administrator still has full control as well. And then we can move any existing files that they've stored in their My Documents folder right now over to the new location when this policy takes effect. Then if we decide to remove this policy later on, we can choose to either leave the folder in the new location that we're setting now, or we can redirect it back to the local profile location where it was before. And finally, we can bring the My Pictures folder along for the ride as well and store that on the server, or we could simply leave it where it is on the local machine. Alright, so we'll click on OK. OK, we're now on Bob's Windows XP machine, and if we click on Start, and then right click on My Documents and check out the properties, we can see that he's currently using his local path. And in fact, we'll go and open My Documents, and we can also see that he's got a couple of items already in there. So what we'll need to do now is log Bob off his computer, log him back in, so we can refresh his policy. So we'll come down to here, and we'll choose log off, and we'll log Bob off his computer. Okay, so now we'll log Bob back on. We'll enter in his password here. Okay, now we'll go and click on Start, and we'll right-click on My Documents, and we'll select Properties. Now this time we can see his target folder location is in fact a server path of server01 slash home slash Bob. And we'll go in and take a look at the contents of his My Documents folder. We can still see that Bob has the same items, but now they're actually covered with this little blue tick icon. And that just provides a visual cue that these files are actually coming from a network location. Now it's important to understand though, that even though these files are stored on a network share, if for some reason network connectivity cannot be established with the server, these files are also cached locally. So Bob still will be able to access them 
in the event that the server can't be contacted. Okay, now when we actually log Bob off, we'll just choose yes, we can see that synchronization occurs with the server. Okay, so that's folder redirection. So now, even if your users don't heed your advice and start storing their files on your server, it doesn't really matter because now they'll all be doing it anyway and they probably won't even realize.